PT Honda Prospect Motor HPM, emphasized that they have prepared a vision for electrified vehicles in Indonesia, starting with launching a number of hybrid vehicle models this year. Our steps are always to study first, introduce, expand and mature. ICE cars, cars with internal combustion engines, have already matured. Hybrids have passed the study and are now entering introduction, where by the end of the year there is another product that we will launch it, said PTHPM sales and marketing and after sales director Yusik Billy to a number of Indonesian journalists in Sapporo, Japan, Monday, 30 October. It is known that Honda launched the Honda CRV Hybrid at the 2023 Gaikindo Indonesia International Auto Show GIIAS last August. Billy emphasized that his party is determined to continue presenting electrified vehicles in Indonesia in the coming years. Honda, he said, has a target to achieve net zero emissions or carbon neutrality for all their products by 2040 globally. He also revealed that the company has a production target of 3 million units of electrified vehicles by 2030. However, Billy admits that each country has different challenges depending on the available infrastructure. Some of the obstacles faced in the move towards electrification include limited production, high component prices, and the lack of models currently available. Honda has taken the first step in facing this challenge by launching the CRV hybrid and will introduce another hybrid vehicle in the country at the end of the year. Billy also said that Honda plans to expand local production to support electrification. This is an important step to meet consumer demand and support the growth in the use of electric vehicles in Indonesia. Honda also continues to study electric vehicles in Indonesia. It is known that the Japanese automotive manufacturer has collaborated with the University of Indonesia UI, in the field of education and research on electrification technology using the Honda e-electric car. Apart from collaborating with UI, Honda is also collaborating with Pertamina Patra Niaga and Pertamina New Renewable Energy to carry out research on the use of electric cars in commercial activities in urban areas. Through this collaboration, Honda is providing one unit of the Honda N-Van EV prototype, a prototype of the newest electric car from Honda, to support the mobility of goods delivery from the warehouse to bright store units in the Jakarta area and surrounding areas. Furthermore, Billy assesses that expansion in electric vehicles will probably take time, depending on consumer demand and infrastructure developments. However, he is optimistic that as more people switch to electrification, demand will grow, and the electric car market will grow in Indonesia. So we really need to introduce electrification technology throughout Indonesia so that once the introduction and expansion of electrification begins, the Indonesian people will be able to accept it. Of course, my government sees that infrastructure has developed rapidly, and infrastructure should develop rapidly along with more models that can come out again, he said.